Jerusalem, or Yerushalayim in Hebrew, is holy to Muslims, Christians, and Jews. All of our prophets were deeply connected to that city, and our sacred traditions venerate it. Jews pray for the peace of Jerusalem as a place where all can coexist and thrive together. But why is it so important to Jews? For thousands of years, Jews have been mentioning Jerusalem in their three daily prayers, after every meal, at Jewish weddings, and in comforting mourners. Wherever Jews are in the world, their qibla, or direction of prayer, is Jerusalem. The Temple Mount, which Muslims refer to as Al-Haram al-Sharif, lies in the heart of the city, on a hill where Jewish traditions teach that the creation began, and where Abraham took his son to be sacrificed at God's command. King David made it his capital about 3,000 years ago, and God commanded David's son, King Solomon, to build the first holy temple in Jerusalem as a central place of worship and as a site of pilgrimage three times a year. The Hebrew term for the temple, Beit HaMikdash, is likely why Jerusalem became known in Arabic as Beit al maqdis Solomon's temple was destroyed by Babylonian armies, and a second holy temple, built on the same site, was destroyed by the Roman armies in 70 CE. Only the western wall of the temple complex survived, serving as the main holy site of Jewish prayer ever since. Jews were banned from living in Jerusalem by the Romans and the Christian Byzantine Empire which replaced it. But shortly after the Caliph Omar ibn al-Khattab captured the city, he welcomed Jews back to Jerusalem. When the Crusaders captured the city, Muslims and Jews were massacred and once more banned from Jerusalem. Again, it was a Muslim conqueror, Salah din who allowed the Jews back. But Jews never stopped yearning for Jerusalem, and whenever authorities allowed it, Jews lived in and visited the city. The 12th century Spanish poet and philosopher, Rabbi Yehuda Halevi, captured this yearning when he wrote, My heart is in the east, and I am in the uttermost west. In the 20th century, Jerusalem was controlled first by the Ottoman Turks, and then by the British. The 1947 United Nations Partition Plan called for Jerusalem to be an international city, with free access for citizens of both the Jewish and Arab states. After the Arab rejection of the partition plan and the war that followed, the newly established State of Israel held the western part of the city and declared Jerusalem its capital. The eastern part of Jerusalem, including the Old City and Holy Sites, was held by Jordan, which controlled it until 1967. Once again, Jews were barred from accessing the Holy Sites, despite international agreements. Since the War of 1967, both East and West Jerusalem have been a part of the State of Israel, and the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan maintains a special role in overseeing the Haram al-Sharif. Although peace between Israelis and Palestinians has regrettably not yet been reached, today Jerusalem is home to nearly one million residents, Muslims, Christians, and Jews, and the holy sites of all faiths are open for prayer. Jerusalem has inspired great passion over the ages, but sadly, the city that is sacred to all three traditions remains an issue of painful conflict today. Perhaps, when we better understand each other's connection to the city, Jerusalem can finally live up to one of its ancient Hebrew names, the City of Peace. Thank you.